Welcome to episode two. I'm Eric. I'm Lee. And together, we're Bourbon Departed. What do you have here today, Eric? All right, all right, all right. Today we have Wild Turkey Long Branch. It's a Matthew McConaughey-inspired small batch whiskey. And this is something you're able to pick up locally for under 45? Correct. It's a, it's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskey distilled in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uh, it was released in 2018. Um, with a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and uh, 12% malted barley. Um, MSRP goes for, again, 40, but uh, could be different wherever you're from, you know. And it wasn't hidden. I remember we were there together, and right, it was available. Yeah, it was It was readily available. We, there was plenty on the shelf, and it's fairly new and looks pretty popular according to uh, our research online. So, And I noticed that on the true wild turkey main page it's not listed but it has its own page a long branch website that basically describes what we are supposed to sense on the nose um with this they are saying there's going to be caramel vanilla toffee with hints of oak Okay. And yeah, right did, off the bat, I smell the, the caramel. Yeah. I'm, you, you did say it's what, 80, it's bottled 86 proof? 86 proof, yep. Yeah, so sometimes I can go full both nostrils. This one is, I kind of got to separate it because it does, you can, and we've been letting this air out, and this is not just poured like immediately. So right. some ethers have burned off, and it still has, it still has some power. Um. I'm, I, after a while, I'm getting kind of the nutmeg, a nutmeg smell. Are you? Right. Okay. Well, you go back into it, and I mean the vanilla, the the toffee is unique because I've not necessarily you know sniffed toffee to have it locked in. It's not. It's not a punch either. Like it doesn't punch you in the in no, the face. No. It does line you up for another. Uh, come around which is good so on the taste uh, the, the website saying we are likely to experience a sweet bouquet up front with subtle notes of nutmeg well there you go your nutmeg and toffee we're back with some toffee on the taste after the nose and there is going to be spice and a hint of oak provide a sturdy middle okay. spice and a hint of oak will provide a sturdy middle before giving way to a smooth Kentucky straight bourbon finish. Now that spice is likely that 13% rye. Right. That is a number, it's creeping into a number that's not my preference, but I know you do like the rye and that spice. Yeah, I can handle more of a high rye, and I, I'm not against the spice. I no, like the not. taste. Right. You want to get into this? Yeah, let's taste it. Okay. Yeah, so it it's not a huge punch, but it definitely uh, makes your mouth water. It's a it's a little spicy up, up front. No, and like it is that eighty six. It actually <clears throat> it feels stronger than eighty six. The nutmeg. Now that I can get that nutmeg, actually the aroma bef- prior to a sip. Actually, the nutmeg does uh, come alive. It's yeah, it comes more oh, alive. It's right there. Yeah, it comes more combine. alive after you've smelled it and then tasted it. It kind of uh, resonates. Yeah, you combine the two, aroma and the flavor. The but it's, sp- it's definitely like it. It's sweet too. Not not just a caramel. But right. You can taste the toffee. No, almost. and that's seventy five percent corn. We're still strong corn, which is awesome for me. Um. They are saying a finish now of a smooth finish with a pop of heat. Well, we caught the heat. Mm-hmm. And every sip you take, early. it does it does give you that initial pop of heat, but then it kind of like it gets it just makes it a warm. Yes, you know, it, it fades off with a, a warm feeling, it, and then the flavors come out. That heat does, I think, take a grasp of your taste buds. So there's a smooth finish with a pop of heat, and the last part is caramel trails off into a subtle, smoky goodbye. 
and they did get that that smoky aspect in there definitely right which is pretty common with most most bourbons but um <clears throat> what's unique about this is uh, are you tasting something other than just oak yeah yeah they they he i know he is a big mesquite uh texas um you know so what's you what's unique about this is i was doing some research and uh matthew mcconaughey partnered with long branch uh, to make long branch with wild turkey um and master distiller eddie russell um according to online they've been friends for a while and um he presented eddie with a basically a to-do list and, uh-huh. and a flavor profile what he wanted and he wanted to uh mix kentucky with texas his mm-hmm. home state and um I guess what they chose to do was include um, a mesquite tree, basically a charcoal refined um, process that gives. That's that's the mesquite flavor you're tasting. The Synonymous with the state of Texas, the right mesquite. Yeah, they they that you've got the aspect of charcoal filtering, removing unwanted flavors, right? Right. And they may have removed unwanted flavors, but they added uh, they we're able to to pull from that mesquite charcoal right. new flavors. That's what set this apart. Right. And bourbon to me, I mean, probably like everyone else, it's is you could definitely taste an oaky yeah. flavor with most all bourbons. But this throws like a a cool like almost campfire like yeah. barbecue, home I, barbecue. I don't even get the oak. It. I don't get really oak. Uh, that the mesquite, mesquite overpowers it. Was unique. And mm. there are many Hollywood types that have, you know, connected themselves with random, you know, spirits and created their own spirits, some of them. And this one, I do believe like he did create what he likes to drink. Like he got exactly that because he either had this idea a while back, but this is eight year old bourbon. Right. So, you know, he this master distiller knew that this eight year old bourbon sitting in the Rick house, I, I maybe, maybe not, or they waited, but this was capable of pulling off to make him his favorite bourbon. Yeah. I, th- I think, I think he definitely by he, I mean, McConaughey, I think he presented Eddie Russell master distiller with a to do list of things like, Hey, this is what yeah. I want. This is what I want to taste. And I want it to, uh, combine the two States, my home state and what I love you know, bourbon. Yeah. Kentucky don't quit until it, it comes out. So him being as Eddie being as experienced as he is said, Hey, I think, uh, we should use this eight year mm-hmm. bourbon. And, uh, that's what they used. And they decided to throw that whole refining in, uh, in the mesquite tree. Yeah. And there's charcoals and stuff like that. And so. they're strong to say it's refined. They're not, they're not pushing it as being filtered. It's refining. Right. So right. this long branch brand though, from what we found out, it has it blossomed into a, res- a getaway? In, yeah, in Texas. So McConaughey actually um, he partnered with I don't know exactly what um, it was a reputable resort getaway yeah. brand. Yeah, he he partnered with someone and they basically created a getaway in Texas. Um, Basically, it's called Long Branch, mm-hmm. and it's you can go there and vacation. And Long just, Branch Ranch, exactly. It's a ranch in Texas, uh, the foothills of Texas, and Austin, you, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go there and vacation, and do whatever you want, you know, and just yeah. hang out and chill and have a ton of Long Branch bourbon available, and <laughs> right. probably like expert cocktail. Oh, I, I would only know, imagine professionals everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. We saw some overview of it, and in every unit, you're not next door to someone. You have it's almost like the Maldives, like you're right. You're yeah, it's spread. like a it's like a cowboy Texas version of uh, yeah the Maldives, and and you're not uh, you know you don't have the wooden walkway to your neighbor. You have a, a dirt walkway to your neighbor, <laughs> right? And it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I think they definitely did a really good job here. Uh, honestly, I can't I can't stop tasting it just because uh, it leaves a, a lingering, you know, taste in your mouth. And this you want to come back to yeah, it. Yeah, this, this takes a hold. It's sort of whatever's going on there, 
that they brought out is unique because it does take a stronghold of your taste buds and sets a foundation. Because if you come back for more, you may get more of the, you may experience more of what they are saying is likely there. And it's true. Right. It does come out like it's, it's set a hundred percent set a foundation um, for you to go back for more and have more flavor. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I wish that this would have been something we already had on the bourbon departed studio shelf, but you brought this in from your collection. Yeah, for sure. And I'm, I'm glad I have this in my collection. I'll definitely be buying more. Uh, it's something that I enjoy. Honestly, I've been enjoying without ice. You know, I don't, I don't ice it down. It just tastes Mm -mm. great by itself. Uh, neat. And, um, I, I think it's something that I'll, I'll probably keep for a while on, on the shelf. Yeah. We need to add it here. Yeah, definitely. It needs to be available here. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, overall, I think this is something that, you know, not only experienced bourbon drinkers, but people that are new to bourbon would, would definitely enjoy and could pick up on, um, you know, it's easy to pick up on the flavors that they're saying it tastes like. Um, you don't have to be experienced in, you know, bourbon tasting or no, this is, this stuff. is unique. It's kind of, yeah. it's got, it's got layers to it. You know, yeah. it's not ex- astronomical, but it has layers, which is so cool at that price point. Yeah. And it is eight year. Yeah. I mean, and it's not a bad price for eight year. Bourbon, no, honestly. Yeah. That's amazing for, I hope that, uh, they continue to do well and keep it on the shelf because, uh, uh this is something that, um, I'm always going to have at my house, you know, for guests to come over and especially when someone, you know, is not really experienced and, yep. or doesn't even, you know, like bourbon or get just getting into it or want a little more spice. Yeah. just a little more spice. This is something that you can definitely throw in their glass and, uh, they can experience it neat. Whereas a lot of new comers to bourbon, like the ice stuff down just because yeah. they can't handle the heat or something like that. Uh, this is something where you can just pour in their glass and they can enjoy it. You can give them a little bit of water maybe. And yeah. the other cool thing is, is cause it kind of has uh, several angles. You could either go with, you know, a ne- like a mild cigar. You can go with a more of a spicier cigar with yeah. this, um, whatever you want to help it out with, you know, that cigar, this would be kind of can go both, you know, yeah, for sure. Angles. Yeah. You could definitely probably smoke a spicier cigar mm-hmm. and, um, it just bring out the spices, yeah. you know, if you enjoy that or, or it could cut back. Right. Or a mild cigar. cigar and uh, bring out the more yeah. uh, creamier um, caramel, nutmeg, yep. stuff like that. Yep. Um, flavors like that and kind of, you know, chill your palate out. So, yep. But definitely. Well, thanks for bringing it by, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Anytime.